The next question is what is a cash sale? The cash sale is a little more involved than a rush order. A rush order is very simple. A cash sale is when the customer walks in to our office or location where we sell the goods, brings the cash in and places an order. This is typically not the case for rush orders or standard orders or contracts or any of the standard document types. Cash only comes in or payments only come in after the deliveries and invoices have happened. So this is a special case where the customer comes in with the order and comes in with the cash as well, cash or check, then places an order and he's ready to pay immediately. So what's happening here? <clears throat> so how should this be handled? The first thing is as soon as he's ready with the cash, the typical expectation is that you know the warehouse should deliver the goods immediately. So the, as soon as this order is created, the request is to deliver the goods immediately. Deliver immediately. And then after the delivery is done, do the invoicing right right so so far it's simple it's very similar to a rush order so where's the difference since the customer is bringing the cash immediately the way the payment is recorded is slightly different <coughs> so if we go to the invoicing in a typical invoicing scenario what happens when the accounts are posted to your credits are here and the debits are here the revenue account is credited and the customer recount account is debited and this is as soon as the invoice is posted now when the customer pays in a typical b2b scenario the customer pays after the customer has been invoiced so when the customer pays here's what happens cash Sorry, cash is debited so, or cash or check or whatever receivable account and the customer receivable is credited so net effect is the customer receivables gets cancelled and you have a revenue account and the cash account so that's a typical two-step cycle that's followed in in any b2b process where the cash is cash or check is given at a later point but in this case this is not how it happens the customer is ready with the cash right away so as soon as the invoice is posted to accounts there is there is no customer receivable so instead the cash of whatever hundred dollars or hundred thousand dollars that's debited call it petty cash or whatever typically it's petty cash and the revenue account is credited so this is a one-step process as opposed to a two-step process so how is this done in SAP so this is done within SAP by a document type document type is BV BV or CS or CS. CS is for cash sale. The delivery document type. This is the sales document type. The delivery doc type is also BB. And the billing document type is also BB. Typically, most of the cases the delivery document type is LF irrespective of whether it's a contract scheduling agreement order rush order doesn't matter but this is one of those special cases where the delivery document type is also different and the billing document type is also different it's not F2 or L2 or G2 it's BV it's a special document type and I'll tell you why we require this special document type 
Now, this is at the header level, at the document level. What happens at the line item level? At the line item level, the standard item category for a rush order is 10, but the standard item category for a cash sale is B, V, N. Now, why do we require a BVN? Why don't we just use TAN as the item category? For starters, the billing relevance. This is the key difference. Billing relevance. The billing relevance for a TAN or standard item category is always delivery relevant billing. There are some item categories like TAD service items which have order relevant billing but for standard deliverable items it's always delivery relevant billing. So for cash sale the billing relevance is with reference to order. So this is the configuration at the sales document level that's different from the way standard configuration is done. Now the second piece of configuration is here at the billing document level. So in the billing document, because the, the cash account posting is different between standard invoice F2 and BV, so in F2, the receivables are hit and customer recon is hit directly. But in BV, there is a special key called cash clearing account key it's called EVV and what it does is instead of posting to the customer recon it posts directly to the revenue as a credit and cash as a debit so that the customer recon account or the receivable account is no longer in the picture and that's achieved using the special cast clearing account key called EVV and this is not available over here in a standard invoice or debit memo. Okay? This is how cash clearing is achieved using the special document type called BV.